Welcome back. We are going to do a Jim Morrison inspired haircut today. So let's just dive right in and get started. So Jim Morrison's our inspiration. So we're going to start off here in the front, take out our bang section, which is going to be the first kind of bevel from the parting back to the center of the recession on each side. Now I'm going to split that section in half and using my feather styling razor with the R-type blade, I'm going to cut his bangs straight across. And I'm going to use the bridge of the nose as a guide for what kind of length that I want. I want that kind of rocker in your face kind of look. So we want it a little longer than the eyebrow, but not so long that it starts to kind of sweep off to the side. Starting in the center, cutting that straight across and then working to each side. Now the size of the blade stroke that I'm using here is going to determine how hard or how soft that this cut line is going to be. And I don't want it too hard, I don't want it too soft, so I'm just using a medium stroke. Trying to maintain that consistency on both sides. Taking my time, just being very meticulous and while we're at it, please subscribe and click that bell for notifications for any new haircuts that we have on YouTube. We would really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. And once we get this to where I like it, we're going to continue on and do the rest of the section following the guide that I started underneath. Making sure I'm combing everything clean from the scalp forward. Slight elevation. And then just continuing the same size of stroke that I was doing to soften that edge, but not make it too wispy. Now by laying the blade flat across the section, it tends to make it a much more blunt type of shape without incorporating any type of movement either left or right. It's going to be very, very neutral. That's looking pretty good. Now moving on to the next section, I'm going to take the high point of the head straight down to the top of the ear. So that's going to give me a, a section that's going to separate the front half of the head from the back half of the head. And we're going to comb that forward. I'm going to follow the line that I had cut with my bangs. Now this is going to get a little tricky here because as I start to go towards the side, the bang is going to start to the guide for the bang is going to start to go back into the head, which is going to feel a little uncomfortable, but I'm going to follow that guide regardless. So whatever the bang section that I cut, I'm following that. Then when I transition to the side of the head, I'm going to go straight up and down vertical and cut that all the way down through using that guide that I had used from my bang section. I'm keeping my razor stroke pretty consistent throughout. As, as I mentioned before, I don't want the hair too wispy. I don't want it too blunt. I just want something that adds a little bit of movement to the ends, but doesn't create a whole lot of separation. So following the same guy that I had underneath for the bangs, cutting that through and trying to match both sides as close as possible. My guide fell out there and just cutting that straight up and down pulling everything forward. Probably could have elevated that section a little bit more. That's okay. Now we're going to move on as we start to transition around the back of the head and I'm taking from the crown to the mastoid right behind the ear. So that's going to give me my next vertical section. I'm going to pull this forward and do exactly the same thing that I did before. Pulling everything straight forward, following my guide from underneath. Keeping the same razor stroke, everything as consistent as possible. Now I think the one of the common misconceptions is that the the Jim Morrison type, that whole 70s kind of shag look for men, it looks kind of like a bowl cut where it's angled back, but it's not really. It's everything is very vertical in the front when it's cut, and it's not angled back. By pulling it forward, I'm going to get that angled naturally. Just because I'm pulling all the hair forward, it's going to introduce that movement so that it wants to move back. 
Now I am using the Type R blade. Now the Type R blade has fewer guards on it. So the teeth that guard you, there are fewer on it. So it makes it a little more precarious to use, but it allows me to cut thicker sections of hair. And it allows me to get a cleaner cut line. So I have more control over it. Now after I finish the uh, last section, I'm going to pull everything, the rest of the hair all forward and follow the same guy that I had under, underneath. If anything sticks out, hangs out, I'm going to cut that off. So everything gets pulled forward. I'm not angling it back. I'm just pulling everything forward and keeping it consistent. Starting in the back here, I'm going to take a horizontal section that's going from the occipital bone to the mastoid. And I'm just going to cut everything horizontally straight across to get my guide length for the back. Now, most of the photos that I see, it, it's right at his the base of his neck, right at the top of his shoulder, sometimes a little longer, but it's very, very full in the back and full around the side. So pulling everything down, cutting it as blunt as possible with the razor, which is still going to give me some softness. Match that as best I can on both sides. Next section, follow anything that hangs over what my guide was underneath and just cut that straight across. Now we're going to get into a little bit of the layering. So I'm going to take a center section straight back all the way down into the nape. And this is going to be my guide for both sides. So I'm going to start in the front and pull that up. You see where my guide lengths had fell out from around the bang. So I'm going to pull that out. And I'm going to start my guide about right there, right at the high point of the head. And sorry, my camera angle is a little funky here. But I'm just pulling everything 90 degrees from the head using my guide from the front section and following that through in a very round shape. And you'll see here what I'm doing. I'm just kind of thumbing the, the razor. Put my thumb against the blade very gently. Since I'm using the Type R blade, it exposes more blades, so I want to be careful. I may go back to the standard type of blade for this. would be more safe. And just cut everything across whatever my guide length was from the front and just following that all the way through into the nape. Now we'll go to the, the left side of the head. I'm going to take a parallel section to the section that I had in the center and then pull all that into the center. So I have my first section, which was the center mohawk. I have my second section, which was the parallel mohawk next to it, pulling everything directly into the center of the head, following whatever guide that I had, and just making sure nothing hangs over that and everything is nice and even. Moving through pretty quickly here. There's not a whole lot to cut. So just want to make sure that my layering is nice and smooth. Now by pulling everything into the center and layering as opposed to pivoting out, if I was to pivot my sections and cut it very round, by pulling everything to the center, that's going to leave me a lot of weight on the sides of the head over the ear, which I think that this haircut really demands that width on the side, not necessarily the fullness on the top. So it transitions where the weight falls and where the fullness falls by how you layer it. Now here, just taking the rest of the hair, pulling that up into the center and seeing if anything hangs over. So everything gets pulled to the center repeated on the other side. And then here is our end result, which I think is looking pretty good. So I'm going to put a little curl cream on it and then go through and, and style it, just diffuse it a little bit and then shake it out. I think he's looking pretty good here. And uh, after we finish, we'll show you some pictures of the end result. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see in the future. And check out the Jatai Academy. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much.